Alright, how's it going? My name is Buddha and welcome to a brand new Rocket League update. We're going to be checking into is the Fast and Fuse Bundle, which is coming out, which is kind of interesting, exciting to see because obviously previously in the old, well, before it went free to play Rocket League, they obviously had a DLC for the Fast and Fuse, and now they're trying to decide to bring it back, plus they're adding an additional car to it, which is kind of interesting and cool that they're going to be doing this. So anyway, we're going to see the trailer. So as we see is, uh, we're not going to have the audio on, but we're going to see, we see is the car coming, uh, the Dodger coming up, we see the skyline, we see the rocket ball, and the ball dropping down, and you see them being dipped into the zone. As we can see then the new car dropping in also, we can see there's already a big massive booster on it. Imagine if the booster on this would be faster than the, on any other, other booster cars, you know. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, that'd be funny. It's going to be out on the 17th of June. Uh, I'm a little excited for the new Fast Furious because obviously I'm a huge Fast Furious fan. I love the movies, um, so it's kind of cool. Though it's... <sighs> We're going to look into it further, but I mean it's like, it's not too bad. So obviously they're going to be in all the three card bundle, which is they're going to give the Skyline, the Dodger, the Pontiac, new car, Pontiac Fiero. They're going to get 17 decals and a real life decal, which uh, all of us together are going to be 2,400 credits, which probably is a lot of money. I think it was roughly $24 or something, which is about 17 pounds. Um, so I see they're giving a lot of stuff. So I see the Pontiac Fiero has got a hybrid hitbox. Dodge, Dodge Charger has a Dominus hitbox, and the, the Nissan Skyline has the hybrid hitbox. Obviously a lot of people will have the Dodge Charger and the Nissan Skyline because obviously a lot of people had the previous ones um, they won't be able to be customized uh, like uh, the Fast Fuse that were previously purchased will have these restrictions so the ones uh, previously to um, the DLC might not be able to be involved in this I don't think Let's see, each car pack can be purchased for 1,000 credits, while upgrades are for 300 credits. But So the reason the upgrades for 300 credits is because already see a lot of people who will already own Dodge Charger and Nissan Skyline due to the previous DLC. So to give the people the opportunity to buy the new wheels, the real life decal, you can pay 300 credits to actually get them and that allows you to uh, use them on your car, which is fair enough, understandable, though I'm pretty sure it's like a little bit going. Uh, the only thing I find it funny is that they're selling each car separately, but I think that's to do with the fact that a lot of people won't want the Dodge Charger with Skyline, because they already have it, but they might want the Pontiac Fiero, which allows people to buy it, pay it for 1,000 credit, which still is a lot of money. Obviously they give a free free item always when they do the, the, the bundles they also give a free item so the item they're giving is a China no cross title for free which I mean I would expect a little bit different I don't know, something to do with Fast and Furious but you know uh, fair enough that's a little bit yeah, mediocre title they're also giving is two new play anthems, uh, Friosa by Anita, which is going to be going for 200 credits, which you could pay for on the June the 17th, and playing a second uh, a second player anthem, which will be revealed when it hits in the item shop. Uh, I don't think anything was mentioned about it, so we'll have to find out and see. Not only that, what we're going to be doing is a Fast and Furious Rock League tournament for people to uh, join into, but it's obviously they're going to be selecting certain people to join. It's going to have, they're having certain people join in, it's going to be a 4v4 situation. It, honestly, if you're not really bothered with the decals and stuff, and you're happy enough to have the cars, I mean, that's fair enough. Uh, would I buy all these as a full set? Probably not, because I don't think I could fork out. Uh, 2400 credit, but uh, I might try and see if I can get the upgrade bundle so we can see some of the decals. But I think that's as far as I'll probably go. Maybe try and get the new car, but that's about it. I'm not too fussed off if I don't get all the decals and stuff. Even if I don't get the decals and paid 1000 for the new car, I'd be probably okay about that. And I'd be fine with it. Uh, it's a bit, just a bit say a shame. It's understandable why they're doing all these things. I can understand why people get annoyed about these things, and I, I mean, 
I I understand. You know, it's obviously the prices are changed, but yet I also understand the game was like the game was uh, about fifteen pound, sixteen pound, and um, so obviously the DLCs were going to be cheaper. But obviously it's becoming more popular game. They got one million people. Oh no, one million, a million, maybe five hundred thousand people playing the game. So you would have to understand the fact that they're obviously going to have all these. Um, fluctuation of uh, different prices, obviously free to play game, expensive items and thing. Uh, it's obviously a business plan and as such. And yeah, that's, that's, that's all I can really say it is what it is. I mean, the only thing I would say, if you don't want, if you can't afford it, you don't want, you're not able to do it. It's, I mean, it just, it is what it is. I would probably say I will not be buying the full three car bundle. The Fiero maybe on its own. Not. I'll think about the upgrade bundles. I mean, I'm not too fast. I'm happy enough that I already got the cars. Um, it is what it is. What are your thoughts on it? I know a lot of people are gonna be you know, uh, a little bit annoyed with all the pricing. Uh, I can understand that. Um, but we would also have to understand its business. So they're obviously trying to make sure they're making a lot of money for all these things. Obviously they probably have a certain kind of percentage goes to the people who you know, actually own like copyrights to these cars and stuff. So I mean, I would assume so. But how do you feel? Anyway, remember to subscribe, like and comment if you like this by all means. I will see you all in the next episode. Uh, I would appreciate if you subscribe because it helped me to get one to 1000 subscribers uh, I usually do a stream every day on Twitch or most of the time on Twitch um, you're more than welcome to pop in if you want to by all means uh, and we can talk about Rock League if you want to I'm a variety streamer uh, I play different kind of games by the way I'll catch you later see you next time stay safe and if you like Fast and Furious like me go go and uh, if you like Fast and Furious like me, go and watch all the movies. That's what I'm gonna say. Do a marathon. Let's go. Anyway, let's do this. Anyway, see you later and good bye. Yo, what's going on?